Hey team, Curtis here with a short quick tip video for loading schedules from Primavera into Procore. Uh, there has been a couple recent changes with the way that Primavera is syncing with Procore. Um, the method that we used to use for automatic loading is currently broken and we're trying to figure out uh, how to get that back up and running because it is a lot more convenient method um, than the method I'm about to show you. But in the meantime, this is what we're gonna have to do to get our schedules loaded uh, from Primavera into Procore. So just uh, follow along with me here and I'll walk you through the steps again. So I'm in a project right now in uh, Primavera. Uh, you need to back out one screen and go to your view all projects list. So you can get to uh, the option of this gear here. So this is that same project I was just in. You're gonna click on this gear um, you got a couple different things you can do here. Uh, some of you guys might be familiar with this already. One of the options is to export this to a P6 XML file. Procore can read and understand XML files. Um, so we're going to extract this out. You can leave these settings um, by default the way they are. It's going to let you know that it's underway and it's gonna give you a notification up here that it was successfully done. You can close out of this screen. Up here on the top right corner, there's a bell icon. Uh, if you click on that, it opens up your notifications inbox within Primavera. And one of the things in here stated that the export was just completed successfully. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna have the option to download the file. It's going to download a zip file uh, to your finder on your laptop. To get that zip file open, you're gonna go down to your finder and you are going to find that document, that zip document you just downloaded. You're gonna double click on that zip and it's gonna create an XML file. Uh, sorry, there's a few in here for me practicing, but uh, it'll say the name of your project um, and a .xml. This is the file that you need in Procore to get your uh, Primavera scheduled to sync. So double click on that zip to, to extract this document out of there. Then open up your project in Procore. Go to the schedule module, which I'm in here, and go to the settings icon up here in the left hand corner. If you previously have loaded a project into this project, uh, best practice would be to clear the schedule out of Procore so that it's not trying to uh, reuse that link that is broken uh, between Primavera and Procore. So just click on this clear schedule button. It's gonna give you a warning telling you that if you do this, it's gonna delete um, your schedule history, uh, which is okay, because you wanna get that out of there and upload something new. So you're gonna clear this document out and then when this is done, it'll give you an option to import something new. Uh, so you're gonna go to the attach file hyperlink. You're gonna attach a file from your computer and you're gonna search for that recently downloaded uh, XML file. So you're gonna click on that file that you just created. You're gonna click open it's going to load it into the job. And then most importantly, don't forget to press the update button here. And then it'll give you a notification on the top up here in a couple seconds to let you know that it's been completed. So schedule updated. And then if you want to verify that it's in the system, we'll go back into the schedule module. And then up on the top, you'll have some options depending on how you like to view your schedules within Procore, uh, either in list view um, or Gantt view is probably the most common one. And this should be current to what your schedule looks like uh, within Primavera at that time. Uh, so this is uh, what I'll call the old fashioned way of uploading a schedule from Primavera into Procore. It still works just fine. Uh, we just stepped away from it for a little bit because we had an automatic method that worked better. Uh, until that is repaired, this is how we're going to have to do it. Um, hopefully this helps you guys uh, get through that until we can get that repaired and um, everything is loaded properly into Procore. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Bye.